it just goes on and on, baby. It just goes on and on. And it doesn't stop either. I'm gonna keep recording until it's over. If anyone wondered, I'm petting my puppy, so it's. I'm gonna close this. It's my favorite movie. Not really a movie, it's actually a season but of a show, but you know. Seasons of shows and movies are generally the same thing. They're both on DVDs. But besides that, crap up this Genesis controller right here. I have way too many controllers. What does this even lead to? What is this? I never did figure out what this is. Oh, I know what this is. Yeah, I think this is. As I said, I lost a lot of, I lost all the cords of this thing somehow. This is actually a cord to it, I think. Super Nintendo, piece of shit, because you lose cords too easily. Let's see if this is, because if it is, I've, I've really, I've done myself in finding. Jeez, cause it's clean. I also have clean more often if that's the case. Oh, what's this? Okay, that's just an AT adapter. There. I'm assuming a re-out means... No, no it doesn't. It set to channel 3. I just now got that angry video game nerd joke. We just said channel 3 at Super Nintendo reference. I am so freaking stupid. We're not noticing the button there. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna gouge these dust plates here. They never work for me. I feel like the unluckiest person ever. Okay, I'll put this right here. I cannot find the cord for that. This Nintendo controller I've been using for all my LPs and shit. This is my first game controller to ever touch my hands, to be honest with you. It a lot to me. Uh, get out of there! Jeez. Uh, this is so much easier to move around to clean up, too. The other thing I'm talking my dazzle wrapped up, too, because that thing, um, whenever you have a loose cord hanging out because of the dazzle, it zaps your freaking hand or leg whenever you touch it by accident and don't realize it. And it is right now, it's just zapped me. I just got zapped by it. These things freaking hurt. I mean, a dazzle, as good of a thing as it is, just one thing is wrong with it, and that's it. Hit Wiimote. Off the Wiimote. See, you got the black Wiimote, because I'm awesome. I got the black weed and the monster. See, see, proof I got the black weed. Okay, black weed, black weed. Awesome. You can't see it because it's turning invisible because it's almost night time. And I don't have enough light to light up this room because I'm using the same fluorescent light bulb for about a year. Fluorescent light bulb lasts about a shitload of time. Stupid remote strap in the way. Oh, I like that's wireless. That's all I can really say. Because all the early versions were wireless. And they were all just crappy things people made before Nintendo. Nintendo kind of copied this. The Wii. They just did a better job at it. And then, like, the controller was copied very much. There's been like a million things before it. And those things, I can say, easily had the really good controllers. What is this? What the fuck? Great, as soon as I know what this thing is. And this has always warnings on it, isn't it? They never tell you what, what you're holding in your hand, you know? It's like, oh, dumbass, this is your Nintendo cord. Oh, that's what it is. You're gonna notice it, never look at it, you know? I'm too busy looking at Mario's ugly face. Ugly bug. Ugly bug me. Okay, get in there. Get in there. There. And so many controllers to put away. Oh, freaking iPhone charger right here. Should just record it with this. 
Turn this thing off for the first time in history. What the? I tried to turn it off with the uh, volume switch. Don't ask. And this thing, this is. Ah, uh, yes. This thing actually is one of Nintendo's best products. I can't believe they don't make these no more. Uh, but I actually got this like the last second when they stopped making them. Because they were like, like five bucks. It was cheap. And what they are is they're like. Well, actually, let me show it. It makes it look like a telemarketer wearing it, but. It's when your DS. Pick the chatting. It's supposed to make you talk, but it doesn't work. But nonetheless, even though it doesn't work for that, it's really good when you're playing games like Nintendo. It works really better, a lot better than the DS. Like, these little things. They only work with the old DS as far as I'm concerned, but. I've heard rumors they work with the new one, I'm not sure. I haven't got the new one to try it out yet. Yeah, I want to get the 3DS just for so many things I want to test with DS stuff. It's kind of funny. I don't even care about it. Screw you, you don't want to wrap up. This is like the thing I haven't done in like 20 years. Everybody's at 20. That's how awesome I am at this. That's where these not one of my games that are really organized. And after watching so many LPs have to organize things going on, it makes you feel it should be done. Okay. Cut out. Dreamcast is a fun system, but then it won't work. Never wants to work. I don't play it anymore. The only game I have for it is fun Sonic Adventure, and I got the Xbox unit, so I have no reason to play that no more. Ugh. That thing doesn't do shit anyway. Like, the Dreamcast is as good of a system as it was. If you don't play it for like a month, because I only have one good game on it, I don't play it. I only play it like once a year. Or like, you know, like one playthrough a year, but you know what I'm talking about. Uh, considering that, it, uh, really it kind of sucks, because it, it gets all, uh, discombobulated. It says you gotta, like, reset the date and stuff. Like, what the hell? Yeah. So I really don't use it no more. I don't know if I'm going to do but that. I'm probably going to try to find more games for it, but... This one's saying I came to its end. What is that, Sonia? Yeah. What the crap? How shitty is this support? And I'm also going to start doing little intros to my LPs in separate videos so you don't have to watch them, of course. But I'm going to a wireless controller away with a bunch of cord controllers for. Look, look at this. Man, I haven't done a lot yet. It's all my controllers that wrapped up. I feel so smart. Look at this, all this. Controllers and shit. Is yeah. I lost half the adapters of these wireless ones. It's kind of sad. Here's, well, here's the ones that get a cute one. The GameCube one, the one I use the most. See, there's a little thing to make it work. And here's a little thing to make it right there. Okay. What the hell just happened? Huh. Let's see. What's this? And everybody you talk to as far as your property is from. Because. 
I really don't know what this is either. I'm just gonna hold on to it right there. Yeah, this thing works with this. They are, you know, as a little kid, it amazed me how they used the same cable for Nintendo 64 and uh, GameCube, but and for Wii, they used the same one for Wii, but uh. Look at that. This is Nintendo 64 cable I just plugged in there. I use this for all my LPs. Uh, Nintendo 64 cables will plug into any Nintendo system. They've been using the same cable from the NES all the way up to the Wii. And I just think that's kind of funny how they're too lazy to actually get a new cord. But it's actually kind of smart because A, less work, of course, and B, uh, if you lose the cord to a system, you can just use another system's cord. And that, they're not there looking for it. Stop it, stupid, uh, super NES. Oh, it's too long. Thanks for watching.